This is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today we're at the Freestone Fermentation Festival. It's gonna be a great time. It's all about fermenting stuff. So they have winemakers talking about biodynamics and fermented, of course, uh, vegetables like sauerkrauts and things that we're used to, but also some other kind of cool things, maybe olives and, you know, I don't know what we're gonna see in all, but it's really gonna be cool. I've been excited to come check it out, all the different booths and talks and live music too. So we're here in Freestone, California at the Fermentation Festival. So this is a one day event all about fermentation. So they have uh, different classes, a couple different areas, uh, main auditorium with some classes. Here's the class schedule right here. They have a kitchen inside with more classes. They have music playing outside and, and a whole bunch of booths. So what we're gonna do today is uh, check out some of the booths. So you can even sit and I'll do this later. You could sit in a fermented enzyme bath, cedar wood shavings, rice bran. All right. So let's go inside and check out some of the exhibits inside. So we're here at the Zuke Live Food booth, and uh, we're going to learn more about Zuke Live Foods. So what do you have here? These are raw fermented salad dressings. They're made with no oil, and they have none of the canola oils or the ones that the stores sell with them. Um, low quality oils, so they're fat free and they also have no sugar added. And they're basically made with fermented vegetables that are fermented first in the same way that sauerkraut is, and then blended or juiced into a water component that can go in a bottle. We have six different flavors. The most popular flavor is sweet onion. Um, and basically, you can add your own oils at home. A lot of people make a homemade vinaigrette, and that you can choose any oil you like if you're into the flaxseed oils or the borage oils, as well as the high quality olive oil works. Um, other people like to put it in the blender. It, the flavor is like a nice tang, almost like a tart vinegar flavor, and so they blend well with nuts um, or seeds, sunflower seeds or sesame seeds. And they are also good on steamed vegetables or mashed into avocado or potatoes. So here's another booth with uh, organic natto fermented soybeans. Natto is one of my favorite ways to eat soybeans and actually one of the only ways I eat soybeans and they're organic. So let's learn more about some natto. Hi, I'm Minami Sato, a founder of a Japan Tradition Foods, making a natto in Sebastopol, California. So natto is a fermented soybean. Fermentation makes a soybean more nutritious, and it develops, uh, you know, unique flavor and the texture. Let me show you. Fermentation makes you know, much more nutritious and umami, unique flavor and texture. Also, it makes a shelf like longer. Natto is high in protein, good source of fiber. Compared with the beef, no cholesterol, easy digestion. Also, to compare with the beef, nine times richer in the vitamin E. Besides, compared with the soybean itself, boiled soybean, I mean, three times richer in the vitamin B2. Also, find it a K2. K2. Uh, regulates uh, calcium you know, to make a bone. Also, one of the special benefit from natto is uh, natto kinase. It's a blood clot busting enzyme only found in the natto. Next one is a bacillus natto. Bacillus natto very strong, can lead to your colon and promote your health intestines. This is all about uh, you know, natto nutrition. So Japanese eat a natto for a health reason. Fermentation makes uh, strings, stringy strings, but uh, there are a lot of uh, benefit, you know, nutritious benefit is here. Also natto kinase is here or polyglutamic acid is here which is used for skincare products or diapers. This has ability to keep the moisture. 
steer, when you steer Nato, you will see the strings. Is your Nato made here in the United States? Yeah, we are making in Sebastopol. Sebastopol. We are the first company to make an organic, fresh Nato in the United States. All right, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we're here walking around. There's some inside booths and then some outside booths. Here's a booth here with some uh, really good books. All right, so now I'm taking my shoes off and uh, gonna get in the enzyme bath. <laughs> Alright, so my feet are sitting here in some uh, sawdust and I don't know what else, but we'll find out in a minute in enzymes. And uh, we're here with the owner now, and he's going to tell us about the Osmosis Day Spa Sanctuary. Yeah, well we're really primarily a vitality center above all else. We're here for helping people live the lives they want and have the lifestyle they love. And the enzyme bath fits right into the equation because this fermenting medium here is alive. This is this is fermentation at work. This is nature's purification process. This is an amazing way to totally revitalize yourself in a very short period of time by immersing yourself in a fermenting medium, getting this huge influx of metabolic energy, which helps your digestion and all the other systems that depend on enzymes to run your nervous system and everything having to do with anything that moves in your body necessitates enzymes it's the building block and the catalyst for, for the whole show so this enzyme bath is being delivered at our fabulous five acre garden retreat center in beautiful freestone in west sonoma county where you can come and have an in-depth relaxation experience unlike anything that you could imagine this enzyme bath is so perfect to totally loosen up your joints and get you ready for the best massage of your life. We have over 40 of the most talented massage therapists you can find anywhere under the sun. We also have a skin care program and a whole incredible outdoor area with Japanese gardens to relax in after you've had uh, your body treatments. There's many booths here. Uh, one of the cool ones is a Good Faith Farm. They make uh, raw olives or over there. Bunch of sauerkraut booths here. So many different kinds. So here's another booth, the uh, Series Community Project. They're teaching teens about healthy eating, very important task, and also uh, providing over 15,000 meals a year to local families dealing with cancer and other serious illnesses. So let's go find out about this project. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Great. So tell me more about the Series Healing Food Project or nonprofit and they are a community project that welcomes high school students to come in and cook for people that have illnesses mainly cancer but that encompasses the whole family approach um, they do everything from growing the foods to cooking the foods to making products like these um, these are some of the products that they make that helps boost their immune system that are just high in nutrients there's anything from vitality balls um, that has ingredients a lot of everything has almonds and great herbs that boost things there's another thing that is the sauerkraut options, and there's a ginger version and a dill version. One of the other things that they create is an almond spread, and you can get that in almond and chocolate. And all these things have been made from recipes of fresh herbs and great products that are all natural, um, organic, and that basically boost the immune system. They take this project in, in Sebastopol, California, and they're just trying to sp spread it out to everyone else in World. All right, great. So it looks like a lot of these products are like raw foods or a lot of these unprocessed and unheated or how does that work? Th they're all raw. Um, these are fermented, of course, the sauerkraut. Um, nothing is processed, all fresh vegetables. Um, they try to get mainly all local from anything from the grocery stores to the farmers all donate all their nutrition and they just make it a great community event for the high schools to engage in something that they're giving back to the community. 
All right, so they have all kinds of classes here, and let's see if we could step in on one. They're teaching how to make pickles today. Now, one of the things about all of this is this is true slow food. So if, if you really want to speed it up, you can speed it up and you can send me a note and let me know what happens. But, you know, the best, the best pickles, this is the most interesting thing, the best fermentations come when it's cooler out. Because the longer the fermentation, the better it tastes. So this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. I've had a great time here at the Fermentation Festival. The band playing in the background. But it's time for me to leave. I got a whole bunch of natto and some sauerkraut today. It's been a great time. Be sure to come here next year if you're around. Uh, it's been great, and uh, we'll see you next time.